good morning or day or afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Uh, my name is Matt Mia. I'm a Northern Utah real estate agent. And if you are familiar with our channel, Living in Utah, what we do is we like to showcase different areas of our beautiful state. Um, give the pros, the cons, cost of living, you know, give you an idea of where you might like to live if you decide to move out here to Utah. I love to eat, okay? And honestly, right now I am on a diet. And, but I give myself one cheat day a week. And because I love to eat, I thought, why not show off these different cities through food, you know? Show what these different cities have to offer. Because when I like to travel or when I'm going to move somewhere, so I've lived here in, it's called Layton, Syracuse, Salt Lake City, and Pomona, California. Um, I always look at what's available to eat. And so, with that you may take that into consideration of where you want to live is what is there to eat. And so I thought a perfect way to show off these cities is through my cheat days and show you what I eat and what's available to eat and what's good, maybe what's not so good, um, and take you along with me. Um, so we're gonna give this a try. If you like the content and want me to do more of it, leave a comment below. Or if you just think it's weird that you're watching me eat food and probably large amounts of food, tell me as well and maybe I'll stop doing these. So I've placed an order already. So we're gonna do Layton City this time. Um, Layton City, we're gonna call it like Taste of the City. So Taste of the City or Taste of the City, Layton, Utah. Um, so we're gonna start off with a breakfast staple joint um, here in Layton. Um, and so I've already placed my order. So let's go take a look. All right. So our first stop for the day, Layton City, Taste the City, is Seals Cafe. Seals Cafe is just your hometown, home-cooked breakfast meal. And this is actually like a family-owned restaurant that the family, I don't know if it's like brothers, cousins, whatever, they have multiple restaurants. So they used to have Sills, Doug and Emmy's, both in Layton, um, right across the street from each other. But due to changes and the transit and stuff, they closed Doug and Emmy's but Sills just moved locations. Um, and so we have Sills and Layton, I believe Criddle Cafe in Ogden, and Granny Annie's, or now Annie's, it got bought out, but Annie's and Kaysville are all the same family owned, you know, same family that runs Sills. And so they all have similar food. So great places to eat. If you're in Ogden, Layton, or Kaysville, you can get this food. But what we got here is the Denver omelet, you know, your ham, onions, green peppers, cheese, hash browns. Instead of toast, I got their famous scone. Check out this scone. <laughs> They're huge. All right, so came with some salsa for the omelet. So this is actually stop one for this morning. We're gonna go check out a bakery after this once Kenzie and Mason wake up. I'm gonna eat this before they get up. Kind of minced up their ham and onion and green pepper. Mm. All right, let's get into the scone. It does come with honey butter. Yep. This is what they're known for is their scone. Now they do get pretty busy on the weekends. I went about seven o'clock and it wasn't bad at all. So if you want to go to Sills on the weekend, definitely go early. They open at six. So seven was, seemed like a perfect time to go. Uh, when you go around eight, nine, you're gonna have to wait, so. But they are pretty quick, so it's not too bad. All right, here we go. 
the last bite. I'm pretty stuffed. A lot of food for a good price. Definitely a breakfast place you have to check out. Here we go. All right, we just got back from stop number two. It's an Argentinian bakery called Aconcagua, I think. We got the whole fam with us. Say hi. Hi. Mason's in the back. Okay, so I told the guy to get us the three best savory. So he got us some empanadas. Focus. There we go. Mm. Smells really good. And told him to give us the three best sweets. Do you know what they are? Woo. He did not tell me what they are, so. <laughs> <we're> gonna, <laughs> I can't tell you a name of any of these sweet ones. And we will find out what these savory ones are. That's what it is. There it goes. I think it's ham and cheese. I think it's pretty freaking good. Yep. What stands out the most to me is the the crust. Yeah. It's different. It's flaky. Yeah. I think I don't. Try this one number two. Mm. It's like a beef one. It is really good. Come on. That one's like loaded. I would say this one's better than the first one. Oh yeah, that one's way better. Yeah. I saw this one on line. It's like empanadas, eres or something, but it's got like a hole. An open empanada. Let's give it a try. It's got like a tart taste to it. It's got onions, peppers, beef. Pretty good. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that one's like a Spanish. It's got like a tartness to it. Like a. Yeah. It tastes like, like lemon. Oh, it might be a lemon. Oh, that's I think what that's it what is. it is. I'd say the first beef one was my favorite. Then. This one. Then the second beef one with the peppers and lemon. And then the ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Yeah, I think it's a citrusy taste that I'm getting. The more I eat it, the more I like it. It's funny because it's like in the corner of that strip mall, so yeah. it's like you can't really see it. I had Kinda no hidden. idea. I had no idea that was there this entire time. Yeah. It was good though. I think I found it because I was just looking up for bakeries, looking for bakeries in the area. Well, and it looks authentic in there. Uh -huh. like it looks like it has like an Argentina feel. It's not yeah. like Americanized, yeah. which is cool. It's got your mom and pop feel to it. Yeah. Like nitro cold brew. Custard. Well, custard. That looked like it was the last one in the store. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's Give the last one. <laughs> yeah, that was the last one. Mm -hmm. And I. That's how you know it's good. I, yeah, and I was like, I bet you that's good because why would it be the last one? Yeah. It's not good. Yep, yeah. yeah, this looks like a custard pastry. It's like really flaky. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Very flaky. That's what oh, you want in the pastry. Please. Flaky. Please. It's got a little cherry, some custard. Very good. Not as crispy or flaky, but still very good. I'm guessing this one's like a, an apple. It's got a little apple slice or something on it. The uh, breading is like the other one. 
not as flaky or crispy, but still very good. Yeah, the texture of that looks really good. It looks mm -hmm. like a like it's a croissant. Like a crystallized sugary top. Mm -hmm. Favorite? Look at this one. Really? You gravitate to apple stuff. It's a little stuff, sweeter. Though. Yeah. It's a little You're, sweeter though. You always like the apple stuff. Yeah. What's is that? Awesome. What flavor is that? Just like, it's a, like a custard. It's just a custard. Yeah. Plain custard. Vanilla custard. Yeah. Good. I like flaky though. It's flaky. It's really good. Good. Maybe it's the custard to dough ratio. Maybe it could be a little more custard, but I mean, still there's a lot. So. Are you gonna vacuum the car after all this? Yes, I will. Bye. Kind of doing a world tour today. We had American for meal one, Argentinian meal two. I can go taco stand meal three, and probably German for meal four. All right. Meal number three. Not what Kenzie's eating. Mm. Health. So this is a taco truck, taco stand in the parking lot of Davis Lane's The Bowling Alley. It's called Tacos Me Mexico. What's up, buddy? Hi, buddy. And I got what's called Quesabiria tacos. <laughs> this is coming. Oh, here comes the little Ooh, boy. It actually looks good. So, I don't know. You want some of mommy's? Mm -hmm. Focus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at the. Definitely a little I'm greasy. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Got a whole family here. Yeah, let's get you some food. So, it comes with uh, the birria taco yeah, yeah, yeah. dipping sauce. As well as some um, a little bit of salsa. Uh -huh. So I've actually never been here before, but it is highly rated. Nice. Don't touch it, buddy. Uh -uh. Hey, 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 don't touch it, please. Oh. Let's see if you get a close up on that. Come here. Cover your eyes. There we go. Woo. Got some grease on my shirt. So let's dip. 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 You dip, I dip. You dip, I dip, we dip. You dip, I dip, we dip. Actually, it's like. Very good. It's got quite a bit of meat in there. Yeah. You want to a lot of flavor. It's really good. These guys have 4.7 stars on Google. So, this is their special. It comes with four of them. For $12.50, I believe. Daddy. Oh my gosh, that's actually really good. Daddy. That was way good. What are you doing, Dad? Taco, do you want a bite? Taco. Taco. Bye. Mmm. So this kid doesn't like anything, so if he likes it, you know it's good. <laughs> Definitely highly recommend Tacos Me Mexico yeah. in the Davis Lane's Bowling Alley parking lot. Definitely must try. All right. So the fourth and final stop of the Taste the City Leighton is called Weller's Bistro. It is a German restaurant right off of Main Street in Gentile in Leighton. Um, so the restaurant actually used to be an Italian place called Gabor Brothers, but I think they had a kitchen fire and something else that kind of put them out of business. So we get Weller's now. She does not get Wellers. No. I'm on a diet, so I don't get to eat. 
That is mine. Stir fry is still good. Not as good, but still good. Good for your health. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So it's the schnitzel. This is the schnitzel. Das schnitzel. And I saw it, and I went in there, they had a special uh, shrimp scampi that looked good. Oh, uh, das schnitzel. It says Parmesan crusted pork loin. Your choice of either lemon caper, long, or Creamy mushroom sauce served with rotkohl and bratkohl, bratkartoffeln. <laughs> my German, I need to brush up on my German. Yes, it looks amazing. So like a potato dish, kind of like a sauerkraut maybe. Looks like they have the caper sauce on there. They didn't ask me, but there's actually two slices. Good. Very good. Good? Yeah. I remember that standing out when I went there. I didn't think it looked good, but when I had it, I was like, that's actually really good. Um, honestly, it's like a cabbage good. or something. Yeah. Might be purple cabbage. Cooked in a certain way. Everything's good on there. Like, they don't. It's not just. The schnitzel that's good, like yeah. everything. The potatoes are good. Yes. The purple stuff's good. All of it's so good. From what I can remember. But, isn't it kind of expensive? A little expensive and the restaurant is pretty small. I'd say there's probably 10 tables in there or less. They do have like a little bar area. Um, that they were offering to seat people at. So I went and picked this up at 5.45 and there was a wait outside, so. Um, my Parking's kind of challenging too. My friend Sarah, shout out to Sarah. If you watch this, you probably watch this. She loves this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she used to live in Germany. Uh -huh. And she went and ate at this Weller's. And she said, it's actually Pretty authentic. Really? And she's had some like other German food around here and she said that that's, this is probably the most authentic German food. All right, last bite. Definitely recommend Weller's Bistro. German. How'd you rate it on the scale one to 10? Nine. So after four meals, feeling pretty good. Dessert will be next. And I'll take you where? Right after this. <laughs> All right, so we got dessert and I kind of broke the rule. We're not in Layton anymore. I really wanted some cookies, specific cookies. So in Utah, cookies and soda is a big deal. And there's a ton of cookie shops. So there's Crumble, which is everywhere. But the original one was in Logan, Utah. And then there's Twisted Sugar, there's Chip, and there's Crave, I would say are the most popular ones. Yeah. The biggest ones that have multiple locations. But then there's other like independently owned single shops as well but we went to Crave closest one was in Ogden and I got two of their cookies here is the blueberry sour cream try not to spill it so blueberry sour cream and horchata churro Mmm. smell really good. All right, we're gonna try the blueberry sour cream first here. Looks like it's got a sugar cookie. Blueberry frosting, a graham cracker. 
and some frosting. Sour cream, probably. What's this? Oh, it's, oh I thought it was Cool Whip. That's freaking thick. <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Watson. I wish the blueberry flavor was stronger. All right, horchata churro. Can you eat the whole thing, bud? Cause it's good too. Okay, we're hungry. I like this one a lot better. It's it's that much better. Mm hmm. And this one's got like a. Warm cookies are Yeah, it's warm. And it's got like a cream in the middle. Yes, this is a must. calories today. <laughs> finish that one at home. All right, guys. I can't do it. I can't finish that last cookie. <laughs> I'm full. I'm calling it a day. But there you have it. Taste the city, Layton. Um, those are some of our favorite spots that we like to go to. There are a lot more out there. So maybe we'll have to do a part two. Or we just might end the series here if you don't even like it so leave a comment below if you like it if you don't like it if you want us to keep doing them different cities different areas if you have recommendations or if you have a city you're interested leave a comment below and we'll do a taste of the city of that one um if you want to move out here or have any questions always reach out give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email and we'd love to help you out so until next time, we'll see you later.